My name is Luciano Rodriguez. Spell your first and last name. L-U-C-I-A-N-O, last name Rodriguez, R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z. Tell me about this morning. I was coming up to an intersection this morning and uh, I got about 200 yards away. I, I heard sirens and I heard a horn and I just kind of looked around. I looked to my left and I saw a fire truck coming. As I got closer to the intersection, I was going to turn right. There was a, a SUV next to me, a woman in it, and then on the other side, a big camper that was going to turn left. As we got closer to the intersection, I started slowing down to stop and see where this fire truck was going to go. And I looked to my left and she kept going and I thought, oh my God, she's not going to stop. And the camper was right there. She couldn't see. So when she got close to it and she hadn't heard it, she had no idea. She just went straight through it. Fire truck came through. She smashed into the back tire end of it, spun it around evenly with the highway and it just started rolling and rolling pieces were flying off the fire truck. It had to have rolled five or six times before it skidded to a stop. Uh, jumped out, ran to the fire truck. I could see out of my corner eye, other people were running to the woman. So I ran to the fire truck. There was several guys who had gotten there too. And we all started looking for the firefighters. We didn't know where they were. And one of the guys pulled back a piece and saw one of them down in there. And so they reached in and started grabbing him. And the other guy grabbed his other arm. And when they got him out, they looked at me and I just grabbed him around the waist and he started to fall and I picked him up and said, you got it, we're all right, man, you're okay. Let's go sit down and I took him to the side and I went back and they pulled another guy out and I grabbed him and I took him to the side and I went back but the third guy, he had his head and his hand were pinned underneath the fire truck and we couldn't get it out and the two guys ran and got jacks from their cars and a, and a state trooper and they were trying to jack it up and there was no place to get it under and this is where firefighters were experienced come in. They know what to do. We just couldn't do it. We tried and tried and like five minutes went by and a fire truck showed up and immediately they got the jaws and they started cutting him out and got him out of there. Got pretty bad shape. Yeah, he, was, he walked away, but he had blood. There was a big pile of blood on the cement. It was, I know he was hurt. It, it, I think it was coming out of the back of his head. But what about uh, the victims and the other, the other vehicles? I didn't see the other victims. I was told that the woman had a neck injury and that the child in the back seat was hurt pretty good. So, and that's pretty bad. And and that's all I, now, which I way heard. The fire truck was coming, going what, uh, east to west? Uh, yes, the fire truck was coming from the Huntsville High School direction towards 45, so it was heading west. Okay. I was heading south on 247 coming this way. And when we got to the intersection, that's when she was kind of right in the middle of us. I was turning right, the camper was parked to make a signal to turn left, and she came right in the middle, and that's when I said, she's not gonna stop. And the fire truck came through the intersection and she just plowed right into the back end of it. Never saw it. I know she was probably in shock that she hit it. So it's, it was just, horrifying and surreal to watch the fire truck keep rolling down the freeway like a movie. Mm. That's just what happened, man, and other people are heroes. There was a woman who was down holding his hand the entire time, and he was hurt pretty good, the guy that they had to cut out, and she never left him. She held his hand the whole time and talked to him, and the other two guys who were pulling him out, I mean, there was, there was heroes there who just jumped up and helped. Thank you.